In this video we will install Node and we will do it with the Node version manager or NVM. So if you open up the GitHub repo for the NVM, we can scroll down to the install and update section and from here we can install NVM with one of these commands. So I will copy this one and switch to my terminal and just paste it in and press enter. And once that's run, we can see over here that we still need to reopen our terminal or run this following command in our terminal in order to use NVM right now. So what I'm gonna do is actually just copy this and run the command like this. So now we should have NVM installed. We can check it by running nvm-v and we get the version number as an output. So now it's important to understand that we only installed the NVM, the node version manager, and we still need to install node. So if we now run node-v, we can see that node is not found. So let me just briefly explain what this NVM is. So with NVM, you can actually install any version of node with just one command, and you can then use NVM to switch between those node versions inside your terminal or in your computer. So for example, if you wanted to try out some earlier version of node, you don't have to uninstall your current version and then download and install the node version you want to install, but you can just run one command with the NVM and that's it. Uh, NVM does all the heavy lifting for you. So how can we then use NVM to install Node? Well, let's switch back to the browser and to the documentation. So right here we installed the NVM. And one thing I should note here is they actually say it over here also, that uh, if you are getting some uh, error saying that command not found or something like that, you actually need to have this one of these files uh, located in your home folder, depending on what prompt you are using. And that's because, as they say it over here, uh, the script clones the NVM repo to the uh, home folder, to the .nvm folder, and then attempts to add the source lines from the snippet below to the correct profile file. So uh, this install script tries to add this uh, snippet to one of these uh, profile files, and if they doesn't exist, uh, it will fail. So they have uh, guides over here for troubleshooting on uh, macOS if you're running macOS. So you can find help from here. So take a look at them if you got some kind of error. So next, let's actually install the node. So how can we do that is down here. If we go a little bit more down and over here to the usage. So in order to download, compile and install the latest version of node, all we have to do is run this nvm install node command. So I'm gonna actually copy it and switch to the terminal and just paste it in and hit enter. And once that's run, we have the latest version of node installed. So now if we run node v, we see that we have the latest version of node installed. Now, if we wanted to install some other version and use that instead, uh, that's super easy too. It says right here to install specific version of node. All we have to do is use the NVM install and then the version number of that version. So let's say we wanted to install this version. All we have to do is just run NVM install 14.7.0 and run enter. And after it has run, we have the version 14.7.0 installed and we are using it. So now if we type in node-v, we can see that we are using the 14.7.0 version. So just like that, we are able to install a different version of node. And now if we wanted to use the latest version again, all we have to do is run nvm use node. So the node keyword references to the latest version of node. And now it uses the latest version. So if we run node-v, we can see that uh, it's using the latest version. And just to demonstrate the point, uh, now if we wanted to switch back to the 14.7, let's say all I have to do is nvm use 14.7.0 like this. And it's using that version after that one command. 
And one command I still want to mention is the nvm alias default. So now if I would to close this terminal and reopen it, uh, it would use the 17.4 uh, version. But with this command we can set the default version that we want to use. So let's say we wanted to use the 40.7.0 as a default version, so whenever we open up a new terminal or whenever we run a new program, it would uh, use that version. So all we have to do is type in the nvm alias default and then the version number we want to set as the default, like this. And now if we run enter, we can see that the default version was set to 14.7.0. So that's how you use nvm to install Node and change between different versions super easily. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button below and subscribe to the channel.